¿Qué tal? Está buenísimo, cabrón. Sí. Hello everyone and welcome to our home here in Lancaster Gate, London. As you might know, we're making some videos to support our favorite producers and suppliers. And for you to be able to make incredible, super easy Mexican food at your home, but also to get these amazing ingredients. So today we have some beautiful pollock. What we're going to do today are some fish tacos. So first we're gonna clean our fish. You can also buy it already clean in fillets. Just gonna put it in the chopping board. Draw the line here from here to here. Great, so when we finish cleaning our fish, and for this we'll need some lemon, onion, garlic, Thai chili, some pistachio, creme fraiche, mayonnaise, chipotle, then some cucumber, some pickle or fermented cabbage, fresh cabbage, scotch bonnet, a little bit of marmite, and some herbs, and we need a mix of flour and corn flour, okay? So we're gonna start first with the butter. This is a mix of whole purpose flour, corn masa, and we're gonna add a little bit of, uh, of baking powder so it's nice and fluffy. I'm gonna use a mix of sparkling water and marmite in a bowl. The marmite, we're gonna add some sparkling water. And then we're going to add our mixed flours. Kind of, kind of like a like a whipped cream. Okay, we're gonna take the fish, separate the loins. It needs to fit in the tackle, so it's gonna make pieces like this big, nice little portions. So now that we have our fish ready and our butter ready, we're just gonna turn on our oil. And while our oil is uh, heating up, we're going to make some garnishes. We're gonna start with the really, really simple one, that it's uh, chipotle cream. We're gonna mix it all together. So we're gonna mix it gently, and then we're just gonna put it in a little, and that's it, I mean, we're not making a lot of Right, so now we're going to make a little uh, cream of pistachio, our version of a, of a little guacamole. What you're gonna do is to just cut some, some garlic, put the garlic to roast. Some garlic, then we have some beautiful Thai chilies. I mean, if you're in Mexico, use serrano, please. And then we're gonna go in the pan. Now we're going to make some onion dices. We're just gonna keep it raw for this one. Okay, so when it's little toasted like this, we're just gonna add it to our raw onion. And we're going to add some cucumber. So, I think I'll keep, I think we're just gonna use a little bit. We're just gonna peel it. Just gonna make some dices as well. Half centimeter slices. You see? We go in with the onion. Okay, so we're gonna check our cucumber here and mix it with the onions. Oh, this is beautiful. We're going to squeeze a tiny bit of lemon juice while that is resting with a tiny bit of salt. We're going to um, blend our pistachios. A bit of salt. And then we're gonna add a little bit of oil. Just really good quality rapeseed oil. To help some coriander, some mint. Then I'm gonna keep going. Maybe two spoons of this. Just like that. Beautiful. Instead of adding water, when you smash the cucumber like this, it, it starts just looking like a hot mole. Great, 
Cool guys, so now we're going to make just a little garnish. Super thin. You can even use you can even use a mandolin. Same thing. Again, super thin slices. You can buy any kind of sauerkraut. So in here in this bowl, we're gonna put a bit of the red cabbage with some salt. And then we're going to put there the beautiful fermented red cabbage. A bit of the juice of the fermented cabbage, okay? And a bit of the habanero of scotch bonnet. And then in the other side, we're going to put the white one. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You can just buy the tortillas already made, but I'm gonna make some flour tortillas today. So what we need here is to mix uh, just basically some flour and uh, baking powder, butter and oil. And then just mix it all together and leave it rest for about 20 minutes. And then you're gonna have something like this. And get really, really, really soft dough, okay? We have in the side, we have some, some cornstarch. And what we're going to do is to take the masa, just Make sure that it's nice and even, the dough. So what we're going to do is to cut it in small little portions. Now that they're all little, little bowls, we're gonna put it in our little cornstarch, a lot of it, and then roll it. The thin as that you can, one side, and then the other side. We have some already um, rolled. We're going to put our pan on and we're going to cook them like really really hot for both sides and that's it. Really careful just put it in the pan and it's gonna make these little bubbles you see. How pop. Then we're gonna turn it around literally for five seconds. And that's it. So now we're gonna cut them. Okay, like this. And these, uh, you can just eat as a snack. You can fry them, they're amazing. Cool, so now we're ready. We have our tortillas ready, our sauce, our cream of little pistachio and cucumber kind of guacamole. We have our fish clean, our butter, our oil. So we have absolutely everything. We're gonna need a little strainer here. And obviously our uh, tray with the paper towers. Just gonna put some salt in the fish. And then what we're going to do is to take one piece of fish and we're gonna dust it with rice flour just so it, uh, all the moisture of the fish stays intact. And then with the tweezers, we're gonna take the fish really and really gently dip it in our butter and then it's going to go to our oil just like that so I'm gonna show you the butter puffs in the oil and it makes this beautiful crispy color. Okay, just for the record, I was really excited making this and I'm really proud so <laughs> the, of how easy it is to make these beautiful, beautiful fish tacos with pollock. So we're gonna take our tortillas, then we're gonna put a little cabbage on one side, in the other side we put our white cabbage a little bit of the salsa, just like this. And then our tacos beautifully place in the center. And let's just put it in our plate. In the center. Okay guys, so there you go, fish tacos with uh, our amazing pollock and this beautiful little 
whack with cucumber and pistachio to go with orange wine from Georgia. Eduardo! Eduardo? Hice eh, fish tacos, güey, así como baja. Eduardo, ¿cómo estás? A ver, el catador profesional de tacos. Professional taco taster. Eduardo, a ver. Está adentro. Sí, no, es. de verde arriba. Salud. Mmm. Mmm. Muy bueno, ¿no? Vamos a darnos un posh. Saludos a Baja California, a Chiapas. Saludos. Hasta luego. See you in the next one. See you. Very good. Gracias. Está muy bueno. Está muy bueno. ¿Qué otro qué? As long as you have it, it's a good reward. Reward. Right? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs>